created them. But now... We will bring an end to their kind. War for the Planet of the Apes is the third installment in the modern series and the final chapter for Caesar and Maurice. Mm. What now? <laughs> An orangutan played by actress Karen Conaval and inspired by a longtime resident of Seattle's Woodland Park Zoo. Hi. Three years ago, we spent a day with both of them. You ready? Let's paint, shall we? Yeah. What are you doing? Painting. Painting the monkey. No, I'm just going to paint because Tawan likes to watch. Their unique connection began years earlier when Karen started studying primates in preparation for the first film. I came here on my own steam to meet Tawan because I heard that he painted and I met him at this lower window and that's when he pressed his face to mine and that was the start of it. After the first movie came out, Zookeeper set up a private meeting between Karen and her mentor. And he gave me a piece of straw. And in the moment that he gave me that piece of straw, anyway, I can't even say really. So yes, the stroop. You may have to stop filming for a moment. I didn't mean to get to move myself like that. That encounter led to regular visits at Woodland Park. And in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Where's Caesar? Tawan inspired her performance for a second time. Like he waved a magic wand and from the day I met him, all the work I'd done previously to that all came into focus and I was able to be Maurice. <laughs> the apes at Woodland Park helped her transform in other ways too. So what do you figure? Do you want, do you want to do this or what do you figure? Do you want me to, do you want to go? She began working to save orangutans in the wild. Last year, Karen and the world said goodbye to Tawan, the oldest orangutan in North America born in a zoo. He died at the age of 48, one week after War for the Planet of the Apes wrapped filming. His inspiration lives on in one final performance and in what critics say is the best Planet of the Apes movie by far.